So did the heavily muscled cow require like a special type of diet compared to a typical? No, and that's that's interesting. The only thing that we would do different with uh, Belgian blues when they're born, now this is just for our area, mm -hmm. um, we would give them a shot of selenium because our area is very low in selenium. And with the heavily muscled, that seemed to affect them. So as soon as they're born, we always gave them a shot, um, just uh, two cc's, I think, of selenium. Okay. Um, I would assume with other areas that are higher in selenium wouldn't do mm -hmm. that. Okay. And then the diet part is funny because the cattle we bought out of Canada, when they came down, I was appalled. I went to feed them ground corn, which are corn and oats, mm -hmm. and they wouldn't eat it. Mm -hmm. um, found out that they're uh, up there they um, they eat barley oh. that's their diet mm -hmm. so so the next time we bought them he sent and and they got on to corn after a while right. but at first when they're putting it in front of them they were like I'm not eating that. right <laughs> so the next time we bought cattle from him he sent barley down with him mm -hmm. and we had gone to a conference up in Canada and I was so excited to talk to other people that from from Europe mm -hmm. that fed their animals and what they fed them well it's where your region is they feed mm -hmm. a lot of bee pulp yeah over mm -hmm. there it's it's i guess whatever is in your region right is what you okay. feed your cattle the same with the hay crop um we had sold bulls down south and they had trouble with their they had to uh supplement them more we weren't supplementing they were just getting grain mm -hmm. but our hay up here is so much better quality oh, mm -hmm. than theirs so um as far as diet goes i guess the belgian blues would go whatever there's in the okay. region